Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, as always, goes to the elect. Those of you coming back to the Most High God, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, through the sacrifice made by His only begotten Son, through whom we now have access, all right, as he's on the right-hand side of the Most High, acting as mediator and high priest, making intercession for us, which we need badly, all right. So, I was uh, checking out this brother's video, GMS in the Truth Orlando, okay, make sure you subscribe to this brother's page. And be constantly edified. Beautiful videos. The title of the video is Sin Not by Proud Speech. And in this video, he's going through a uh, comment board back and forth he had with a uh, another weirdo, which these uh, weirdos are popping up left and right. All right, which they've always been here. Okay, since... uh. I've been awakened to this truth. You know, we've seen so many back and forth. We've seen so many weirdos. We've seen so many platforms come and go that scoffed the word of the Lord, mocked, told us we wouldn't be out on the block anymore. They were going kill, to kill us. You know, we've endured all manner of uh, persecution for the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And ultimately, we know this is what we signed up for. All right. But I wanted to make emphasis on this brother's video. Um, he was bringing out some very, very good precepts. And uh, last night I actually found myself in the same situation, you know, where every blue moon, because back in the day, man, we would go back and forth on the comment boards for hours, man. Sometimes you wouldn't even get any sleep, okay? You'd even go into work. And your whole work day will be ruined because you're going back and forth with the scoffer. Now, the scoffers, these 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 <laughs> energy vampires, you know, they don't do any works on their own. They don't have platforms where they teach the word. But when they see you teaching the word, okay, they'll come to your platform and teach their doctrine. They'll, they'll put up what they believe on your platform. And if you happen to respond to them, all right, <laughs> you're, you're going to be in for a, because um, they, 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 they got all the energy in the world, you know, to come onto your video and lay open the sacrifice of a fool, okay, defending, you know, uh, maybe the guy that they follow, like, you know, a lot of these guys are followers of Rap the News, you know, which this guy says, if you drink liquor, you're going to hell, Forever, you're gonna burn forever if you drink liquor. If you wear nice clothes, you're gonna burn forever. There's no mediator that's gonna forgive you for sins. So, liter literally, these people are following a, a, a merciless doctrine, all right, that even they themselves, <laughs> at the end of the day, it destroys them, all right. But ultimately, it goes into this title Proud Speech. Our people don't have a mind to stop all right and this has been something that has bit our nation in the ass for ages man just being proud saying whatever the hell you want to say doing whatever the hell you want to do and don't and not thinking that you're going to have to answer for those words and this is why niggas daily get shot all right destroyed all of these you know uh horrible things happen to them is because of the energy that they carry now, I want to show you all this comment that this uh, scoffer, rap the news defender, you know, left on my comment board yesterday. All right, because, uh, you know, every blue moon, like I say, we, we, we decide sometimes you ignore these scoffers. Sometimes you just block them, which that's the, the if you if you want peace. The simple thing to do is sometimes just ignore them or just block these niggas because they're bugged out of their mind. They're proud. They're crazy. And what happened to me yesterday is uh, once I read 
this comment my day was ruined so this 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 guy <laughs> you know he he's a demon but he accomplished you know the demon that was on him accomplished what it wanted him to accomplish and i'm partially to blame for even partaking in a back and forth with this guy now his name's curtis washington okay now he's a, a rap the news fan which i'm sitting here mulling and thinking on this whole rap the news situation it would be something if that whole thing with him and his daughter is a ploy for them to get money all right but we'll see we'll see and that will be even worse than you actually being on a hospital deathbed if you fake a sickness in order to uh get attention and monetary means from israel because that guy gets donations he gets donations to fix his truck his car to do this do that and you've never even seen him or the car you don't know what he looks like who he is so pretty much you can get on the internet youtube and say any and everything you want to say not show your face and israel will find a way to make you their leader meanwhile the ones who are on the front lines fighting you know um constantly edifying are constantly ridiculed and that's a you know that's the uh legacy of israel man to mock the prophets but nonetheless i'm babbling let me um read this comment because this dude is uh you know of the opinion there's no mediator <laughs> and remember israel in the wilderness you know, you told Moses, we don't we don't want to speak to you. We want to speak straight to the Most High. And then the Most High started roaring. It was like, no, wait a minute. We, we'll speak to you, Moses. Israel <laughs> has never been in the position to go straight to the Most High. There's always been a mediator. Okay? And for us to be married back to the Most High, there's, there's going to be a mediator. Okay? Anyway. Let's read his comment. I asked him, you know, he said, I've been in this truth for years. And I said, so you, you've been in this truth for years and you still haven't went out and started to teach on your own? This guy rapped the news can't save you. You got to, you know, stand on your own too. He says, as soon as the most high greens light my steps, yes, I'm definitely going to continue rap the news's legacy. That's what he's talking about. Somebody got to tell the truth of what doth saith the most high. Because that's their thing, the most high only. Okay? Not, no doth what says Paul or Peter or milk is a dick. Now, what he's talking about here, because I asked him, who was Melchizedek? Okay, if there's no mediator, okay, if there's no order or, or high priest we have to go through, who was Melchizedek? which we just did a lesson on him, whom uh, Abraham paid tithes to. And look what he called him. I hate to even utter it. All right? I hate to hear that word, period. It's a rod. But anyway, look what he disrespectfully calls Melchizedek. Because I'm asking him who was Melchizedek so he says, I, I'm, I'm only about what doth say the most high, not what doth say Paul or Peter or milk is a dick. As I asked him, who was Melchizedek? And man, oh man, the, 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 I immediately turned to the east <laughs> and you know what we, you know what I did, you know, sent it to the brothers, you know, they immediately threw up curses on this guy, man. Because this right here shows that these people have no no respect they have and, and 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 i'm sitting here thinking this dude most likely doesn't know who melchizedek is we worship yahweh alone we understand the first commandment sir then shalom but look what he called melchizedek so i was pissed off you know <laughs> and um today i woke i woke up 
and uh, I was checking out this brother's video, so that inspired me to do this video, okay? And you you got Israelites that are just all over the place, man. Bug the hell out, coming on to brothers' comment boards, laying open all manner of folly, as if those words and the things that you're saying ain't going to come back onto you and you're not going to have to answer for those things. This man just called the priest of the Most High God whom Abraham paid tithes to. I don't even want to utter it. Milk is a... Right? So... We're going to get a series of scriptures, okay, dealing with that tongue, man, because as a matter of fact, where is that scripture here? Proverbs 18 and 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, man. You people are running around here saying and doing any and every and the hell thing you want to do with no regard of what you're saying, who you're talking to, what you're talking about, Okay. And you niggas don't have any of this energy to go out and teach on your own. But when it comes to coming on the comment board, you niggas are willing to go all night. And that's what these scoffers will do. They'll go back and forth on the comment board all day. And then when you get tired of the nigga, they'll say you're running. And then your, your pride will, <laughs> will be messed up. And then here it is, you're entangled with this damn fool. And you, you, you wish that from the get-go you would have blocked him. But I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this out for you Israelites out there, man. Watch what the hell you say, man. We're living in the time of serious judgment. Well, Apostle Gabar has been saying it. Brutal judgments are getting ready to be issued forth in the planet Earth. And judgment is going to start at the house of the Lord, those who know that they're Israelites. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See that? So if we just do a cross reference. Proverbs 18 and 6. A fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth call it for strokes. Okay? And that's a, a guy like that. And a guy like this brother was speaking of on that video. You're just saying any and everything you want. Mocking the brothers, the apostles, the elders. Cursing the king. Now, Melchizedek is the king of Salem and priest of the Most High God. Let's get that real quick. Genesis, the 14th chapter. We just did a lesson on it. Genesis 14 and 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, all right, which is Jerusalem, king of peace. And that's what we're going to rule out of. When the kingdom is established under the order of Melchizedek, who was on the earth <laughs> in his heavenly body. That's why Paul says he had neither mother nor father. He was literally on the earth at the time of Abraham in his heavenly body. Okay. Before there was a Levite. Okay. There was Melchizedek, king of Salem, and he brought forth bread and wine. And he was priest of the most high God. And he blessed him and said, blessed be Abram of the most high possessor of heaven and earth. And he blessed the most high, which had delivered thine enemies into thy and blessed the most high. All right. Which have delivered thy enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. So this is our access pretty much to the blessing. Through the priest of the most high God. But 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 here it is. Look what the what, look what this this guy called him. So he's willing to ride or die, you know, go back and forth all day over a guy wrapped the news who he's never seen. He don't know how he looks. Okay. But when it comes to the priest of the Most High God, that's his 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 mind frame, man which 
This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, or yep, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and six. For wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For God is witness of his reigns, and a true beholder of his heart, his mind, and hearer of his tongue. This is why we have to watch what we say. And I'm willing to bet he probably didn't even know who Melchizedek was. But that's the demons that's on these people, man. Which is why the scriptures say talking with a fool is, is, a, is a burden in the way. Okay. Sirach chapter 5. In six, suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? And people don't understand the angels are all around us. As a matter of fact, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, Salakia 10 and 20, curse not the king. Now he just cursed the king, whether he knows it or not. All right, the king of kings, because that's the order that we're going to enter in to that new covenant under the priesthood under the order of Melchizedek. That's the mediator. We're not just going to enter into the new covenant with no mediator. How is there at a marriage with no mediator? When have you ever went to a wedding and there was no uh, 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 mediator standing between a man and a woman? So we're going to be married back to the father, but without a mediator. And like I said, remember Israel <laughs> thought they wanted to speak to the most high. And once he starts speaking, they were like, oh, hell no. We'll speak to you, Moses. You're not on a level to go straight to the most high. Dumbass. And may the most high, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, destroy all of you niggas. This is why the scriptures say, pray not for these people. You got Jake still worried about, oh, we can we do uh, the two thirds? Why you? That man, people who think like this, hey, they mean our nation no well. Nigga telling you that if you drink alcohol, you're going to burn in hell forever. If you wear nice clothes, you're going to burn in hell forever. Talking about the planet Nairobi. Lizards who are well endowed with, with, with big penises. So to hell with you niggas, man. That's why Ezra says, seek out the glory of those that be like unto thee, man. These niggas got to go. And it's getting worse. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20, curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. The elect are the ones who have the riches. And all you do is sit in your beds, on your in your computer chairs, and mock, scoff, talk shit. And here it is, when these dudes, like Rap the News, make their videos, mocking, scoffing, laughing, talking about our garments, saying we, we look like... Uh, you know, uh, custodians, we got on our mama's aprons. Uh, uh, we, uh, we gonna die, we gonna burn forever. Nobody's on the comment board saying stop. You know, you shouldn't be like that. Pray for those brothers. But then when we do a video, we gotta stop. We, we needs to be, we needs to be nice. <laughs> oh, Israel is full of S-H-I-T, man. And now... We, we, we see and understand why the Lord is going to do away with two-thirds of them, man. You're no good. There's a particular gene pool that ends here for Israel. And you're going to come back because the Most High is merciful. We don't teach an unmerciful doctrine like this nigga. And you go burn for, for forever in a lake of fire. Just because you, 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 you had a sip of tequila. Tequila. 
So curse not the king, no not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air, the angels, shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. And that's the angels reporting everything. They're watching everything. Okay? Now, let's see here. Verse 12 in Ecclesiastes 10, the words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. And that's you guys, man. You're making it worse on yourselves. Okay, there's no sacrifice. There's no covering for the sins of the elect. What the hell are you talking about? Like y'all just live these perfect lives here in Babylon the Great. You, you live with your wives. There's many sins that are committed daily just waking up in Babylon. So we need covering. <laughs> okay? You, you mean like the brother said, when you 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 got a wife when she's on her cycle, you don't put her in a in a in a in a dungeon somewhere in a, in a back house until she's clean. No, your ass is right there in the same house sitting on the same couch, which all of those things are unclean if she sits on them according to the scriptures. No way to keep the laws perfectly here in Babylon the Great. All right? But your intent, the inward man, you're fighting. That's your intent. That's your earnest expectation. That's what you're fighting for. We can't wait to get out of this, this situation and out of this flesh. So we can serve the Lord, all right, in, in, in perfection. And the, the way we're going to do that is through the order of Melchizedek. And what did the, what, when you go to Psalms 110 real quick... just uh jump to the point psalms 110 and 4 the lord have sworn thou will not repent thou art a priest forever forever and a priest is a mediator after the order of melchizedek what is this talking about the lord at thy right hand shall strike strike through kings you just uh, uh cursed this man pretty for for you know in a nutshell Saying he 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 has nothing to do with our legacy. He has nothing to do with how we're going to get back to the Most High. When it's when when Yahweh through David is letting you know that this man, which David called his Lord, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So there's no mediator right now in the heavens on the right hand of the Most High making intercession for the elect. Do you, do you all realize what you're saying and what you're doing? But then the way that these guys operate, whenever something is in the scriptures that, that, that goes against what they believe, they say the Jesuits put it there. The Jesuits infiltrated the, the, the Bible. So here it is. You're walking into Jacob's trouble with all of these wayward, weirdo beliefs. You're all over the place. Some of the Bible's true. Some of it ain't. Ecclesiastes 10 and 13, the beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. <laughs> and that's Jake, man. Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. As a matter of fact, we'll start at 1. Dead flies cause ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. You got a nice oil, all right, and a fly, a dead fly falls in there. You're like, damn, this ruin the oil. You don't want to anoint nobody with that oil. It's a fly in there. Even if you take it out, you're going to know, damn, that fly was in there. Starts stinking. So doth a little folly in him that is in reputation of wisdom and honor. Like this dude, Shar Sham, amongst Israel, there's people who follow him and looks at him, the dude from Fopi, as if he's a leader. But he, he's on camera openly mocking adultery. You know, I put my pickle in your mama, your woman want my pickle in her mouth. 
I play with her cat. And what nigga still says cat? What's wrong with you niggas? What the hell is wrong with you guys, man? And Israel follows these people, I mean, even after they see the, the stuff they do. So it's like, why not just make a weirdo page, not show yourself, change your voice, and make money off these niggas, man? <laughs> now, I'm just joking, right? But 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 literally, that's all. That, you can do that. You can make a, a page, not show yourself, and just be a, a complete bug out. Talk about how uh, the, the frogs created everything, right? God used a, 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 a sharpie to draw the heaven and the earth. And what would Jake would be like, man, you know, mock, you know, and, and Jake would be like, wow. And then just put your PayPal in the, the uh, description box and Jake will hit that PayPal up every damn day, week. Jake loves foolishness, man. Our nation it, it just wakes up looking to to listen and hear some weirdo bugged out activity. But when it comes to the true doctrine, it, it, it you know, it makes them frown up. What's that scripture? Let's see here. Yep. Sirach 21 and 15. I'll go right back to uh, Ecclesiastes. I'll get a few more. So I'm going to leave this whole thing alone. So, so much happening, you know. But the spirit jumped on me to do it, do the lesson, so I'm doing it. It says, if a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one with no understanding hear it, it displeaseth him, and he casteth it behind his back. Okay? They're, 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 throughout our whole history, there's been mediators. Okay? There's one prophesied to come through the loins and lineage of David. Then he comes, and Jake, you know, when he comes, they figure out every which and way to say he's not him. <laughs> the, 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 you got Jake denying the, the whole Old Testament. So where's the history of the, 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 the Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, because we know the northern kingdom came over to them. Where's the, the Americas? Where's the history of the Jews in the Roman Empire, that fourth beast? There's nowhere written about. What, what did they do there? What happened? Did the the one who was to come from the loins and lineage of David, was he ever born? That child? What, what happened? <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, or, or maybe the Jesuits put Isaiah 9 and 6 in there, that the child will be born. Maybe all of the prophecies of the Messiah, that's where the Jesuits went and entered that into prophecy. Okay, to get us to bow to another God. The talking of a fool is like a birding in the way, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. And you guys don't have any grace in your lips. You're, you're, you're ultimately destroying your own selves with your own doctrine, saying that you have no sac. No, there's, there's no mediator. There's no for forgiveness. Right? So if there's no forgiveness for sins, all of the sins that you commit daily, they ain't covered. So you're going to pay when the, when the Lord returns. So the talking of a fool is like a burden in the way, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. They inquire at the mouth of the wise man in the congregation, and they shall ponder his words in their heart. And those of you who are taking heed you know, he to the, you know, wise counsel of the prophets. Okay. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. As is a house is that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, and knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. And here you go. Okay, according to Jeremiah 31, there will be no mediator. So it's going to be a marriage going to be brought back to the most high with no mediator. Now show me this new covenant we're supposedly under, line upon line, precept upon precept. Oh my goodness, man. So they, they, they'll keep going. They, they, they'll post thousands of precepts, but then you'll go to their page 
June 29th, 2021, the only video. Let's let's listen to it. Just a black screen with nothing, and it's fitting. Second Peters two and twelve. But these as natural brute beasts speak, I mean, uh, made to be taken. See, the, these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. The Lord created these dudes to be spots, speak evil of things that they understand not. This dude don't understand the priesthood. These people really don't understand the Bible. They've just awoken to the fact that they're Israelites. They heard Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight. They put down the. Uh, the uh, McDonald's, you know, uh, uh, pork, you know, the, the McGriddle, you know, Jake stop eating pork and read Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and, and, and they're the Israelite all of a sudden. Then they go through the camps and they say, I don't like them. And they find some weirdo like rap the news and they say, yes, right? They're speaking evil of things they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are in blemishes. <laughs> Look up this word blemishes. <laughs> that's, that's what a nigga is, a blemish. Okay. Momos. A disgrace insult men who are a disgrace of to society a nigga who will come to your page and put a, a million precepts but never stand on his own two feet and go out and teach his own people man since you got so much to say now granted no everybody's not a teacher all right, but if you if you go put put yourself out there like that, mocking, scoffing, you know, blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Let's look up this word sporting. In true fao. To live in luxury, to live delicately, luxurious, to reveal, to to take delight in. Laughing, mocking. What's the scripture say? Uh, sport. I forget what I said. That's in Proverbs. Yep. It is a sport. Proverbs 10 and 23. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding have wisdom. A man of understanding know. All right, let me stop. I'm going too far. But a nigga has no regard. And then all of this energy comes back onto them. This is the culture of Jake. And while they've, they've constantly lost. Okay, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. And here it is, there's a great feast going on. But then amongst this feast of, of the, the elect waking up, you got all of these spots and blemishes popping up. That, this ain't the right kind. What kind of, what is this? Lamb? Uh-uh. All right, we got, we got wine. This nigga in the corner making root beer floats. Okay, vanilla ice cream with, with frosted flakes. Spaghetti, okay, with uh, uh, hot dogs chopped up in it. And you, and, and, and it's a perfect feast, but here he comes complaining. Then the, 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 the one who the Most High put over the feast, they're saying he, we can go straight to the Most High and have our own feast. Having eyes full of adultery, okay, and cannot see, put ranch every goddamn where. So they, they're ruining, you know, spots in the feast. And what happens to a spot? So they're going to get wiped away, man. Having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls. And that's what rap the news and these dudes do. They make Jake twice the child of hell that they were before they came into the truth, worse off. Unstable souls. Look at this word unstable because that's where you guys are. You're all over the place. It's like, why do you even believe in the Bible? 
if the Bible itself is wrong and infiltrated and, and they they put injected all of these lies into it. Why do you believe in it? So you walking around the earth, you, you cut out the New Testament, but then in the Old Testament where it mentions a son and any apocrypha where it mentions the son of the most high, that was injected in there by the, the Jesuits. So you, you, you use a Sharpie to black out those scriptures and you're just walking around. What are you doing? Unstable, unsteadfast, and that's where they—they're all over the place. Okay, they're not fixed. They're unstable, man. And what, if if this guy is truly sick, because there's a lot of the weirdos in Israel. Jake will fake a sickness to get money. If a nigga is telling you if you drink alcohol, you're gonna burn in hell forever. You you never know what the hell he'll do. Never shows himself. If you wear nice clothes, you're going to burn forever. <laughs> you, a nigga with sense. If Jake has sense, they would hear that and be like, whoa, wait a minute. I drink. Dude, 5,000 subscribers and none of you drink. Not one, right? So you're listening to a nigga telling you you're going to burn forever. No mercy, no way back to the Father. <sighs> it was a bunch of weirdos, man. I'm going to jump to 17. These are whales without water. Scriptures say living uh, water should be coming out of the bellies of the, the true men of the Lord. He that believeth on him as the scripture have said. Clouds that are carried without with a tempest to whom is the mist of darkness. To whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. For they speak great swelling words of vanity. They allure through the lust of the flesh through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape. All right, from them who live in error. <laughs> While some promise them liberty, like you're free from, you know, uh, the, the Messiah. They themselves are servants of corruption for of a, whom a man is overcome of the same. He is brought into bondage and y'all in some serious bondage. So anyway, yep, Proverbs 18 and 7, and fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. So let's read this again. First Samuel 2 and 3, talk no more exceedingly proud, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for Yahweh is a God of knowledge and by him actions away. The Lord is watching, man. You can read this, James. It, it speaks of the tongue, man. Okay. James 3 and 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And you think you're just saying things and you're you just mocking. And you're, you're, but, but you don't understand. These things are going to be required of you. All of us, what we say, <laughs> that's why you got to be mindful, man. <laughs> Sirach 28 and 18. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not as many have fallen by the tongue. See all of it. What, what is rap music led to? Just a, a culmination of death upon death upon death. Okay, your word, that stuff returns unto you, man. <laughs> so 
So I just wanted to bring that out, man. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But uh, Lord willing, those of you who want to be, uh, you know, edified by Curtis Washington, just go to his page. He loaded a video June 29th of 2021, 15 seconds of absolute pure darkness. So feel free to follow this nigga in the stead of Rap the News, who, you know, for right now, we don't know, if, you know, he, he may be on his way out or if it's a, a snare or whatever is going on with that. Because, you know, Jake will pop back up. You niggas waited till I was gone. See, you see what they do? And you niggas going to be on the comment board cheering them on. Anyway, man, so. Lord willing, we'll leave it there. A hey, destruction is coming. All right, to to and, and, and let's just get this scripture. Pray not. Okay, book of Jeremiah. Because there was a point with Jeremiah. You know, he he was all worried about Israel, 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 man, Lord, you know, Israel. But then when 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 it was all said and done, he was like, kill these niggas, Lord. Okay. <laughs> he went. He was nut. He, he went. He, he snapped. And I used to be like that. Israel, man, we gotta love our people. Israel, man, but these dudes are a bunch of damn snakes and vipers, man. You 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 go into that pit dealing with trying to deal with Israel, man. You your your soul will be drained, man. These niggas are absolutely crazy. The most disrespectful people you'll encounter. Jeremiah 7 and 16. These are supposed to be people who 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 go straight to the most high. Nigga, really? Hey, like I always say, man, I've met the best and the worst people that I've ever encountered in my life by coming into this truth, man. I mean, niggas that'll call your job and tell them you're a pedophile. We went through all kind of shit. And just imagine what the apostles and elders went through. They tell their stories. <laughs> We entered into their labors through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and we had to go through shit with Jake, man. Losing a mind, man. You would think that, okay, I'm going to become an Israelite. Now I'm amongst a community that, you know, a respectful, loving people who, who you know, who are going to be mindful of what they do. Who the man, please. Okay, you got complete retards, retards with platforms with thousands of followers, man. This is madness. So Jeremiah 7 and 16, I mean, some of these people really belong like in a, in a, in a, in a crazy home locked away with no keyboard, no access to the public. But here it is, men and women, crazy as hell get themselves in positions where they can just tell people this and that and get support. Meanwhile, the prophets are just constantly mocked, but that's Israel. That's the legacy of Israel. Jeremiah 11 and 14, Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up a, a, a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry for me in their trouble. And great trouble is coming, and niggas have not stopped. They've continued to be proud. They've continued to mock. They've got worse. Okay? So, yeah, man. Where was that? Where Jeremiah was like, Yo, Lord, get these niggas. Yup. Yep, you can read that in Jeremiah the 18th chapter. Because the whole time he's trying to plead with him. Okay, but Jeremiah just came to the point. Jeremiah 18 and 19. Give heed to me, O Yahweh, and hearken unto the voice of them that contend with me. Listen to these niggas. Because they had all sorts of idols. They were being wicked. Worshipping Tammuz, celebrating the, the real Christmas. Be like, stop. But niggas didn't want to hear that. They they plotted to kill him. He hated black culture, man, and so do we. 
All right? Jake is wicked, man. Shall evil be re recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and turn away thy wrath from them? And that's what we do. We, 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 we stand up week in and week out, day in and day out, prophesying to get our people to repent. Give them an understanding of what's to come. But what do they do? They dig a pit for your soul, man. Okay. Deliver, therefore, deliver up their soul to the famine. This is what Jeremiah said. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children and the widows and be widows and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword. You know, and, and it's so it's only so long before you snap like this. Then when you do snap, Jake come to your video. Oh man, y'all wrong, man. Y'all don't know what the hell rap the news going through, man. Man, he man, pray for the brother. But meanwhile, all his videos, this nigga telling us we go burn forever. We dumb. We stupid. Your mama's dumb. We wearing a mama's apron. We some bitch ass niggas. And none of you niggas are on the video saying, y'all, hey, rap, bro, calm down. Even when he did the debate with Sakari, they were trying to be, you know, hey, brother, brother. He was like, nigga, you ain't my brother. <laughs> he, he, he was being mad disrespectful. So he's, he, hey, man, the, when the Heavenly Father starts to open up, let a cry be heard from their houses. It would say, let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. And this is what's happening to niggas. So Jeremiah's curse was heard by the Lord. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them, for they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares for my feet. Yet, Yahweh, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity. Okay? Neither blot out their sin from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. So this was Jeremiah's prayer for Israel. The wicked, the two-thirds. Okay? So if you still in that mindset, but we got to love the two-thirds, man. The two-thirds cursing the king, telling you ain't no... Mediator telling you they can go straight to the most high, being disrespectful, mocking. So we're going to leave it there, man. Shalom. News and prophecy next, Lord willing, because there's a lot going on. Shalom. Death to the two-thirds.